Exodus chapter 29. And this is the task you shall do to them, to set them apart to serve me as priests. Take one young bull and two rams, perfect ones, and unleavened bread and unleavened cakes mixed with oil, and unleavened wafers anointed with oil. Make these of wheat flour, and you shall put them in one basket and bring them in the basket along with the bull and the two rams. And you shall bring Aharon and his sons to the door of the tent of appointment and wash them with water. And you shall take the garments and put on Aharon the long skirt and the robe of the shoulder garment and the shoulder garment and the breastplate and shall gird him with the embroidered band of the shoulder garment and shall put the turban on his head and shall put the set apart sign of dedication on the turban and shall take the anointing oil and pour it on his head and anoint him. Then sh you shall bring his sons and put long shirts on them, and shall gird them with the girdles, Aharon and his sons, and put the turbans on them, and the priesthood shall be theirs for an everlasting law. So you shall ordain Aharon and his sons. And you shall bring near the bull before the tent of appointment, and Aharon and his sons shall lay their hands on the head of the bull, and you shall slay the bull before Yah by the door of the tent of appointment. And take some of the blood of the bull and put it on the horns of the slaughter place with your finger. And pour all the blood inside the base of the slaughter place. And you shall take all the fat that covers the entrails and the appendage on the liver and the two kidneys and the fat that is on them and burn them on the slaughter place. But the flesh of the bull and its skin and its dung you shall burn with fire outside the camp. It is a sin offering. And take one ram, and Aharon and his sons shall lay their hands on the head of the ram. And you shall slay the ram, and you shall take its blood and sprinkle it all around on the slaughter place. And cut the ram in pieces, and wash its entrails and its legs, and place them upon its pieces and on its head. You shall burn the entire ram on the slaughter place. It is an ascendant offering to Yah. It is a sweet fragrance, an offering made by fire to Yah. And you shall take the second ram, and Aharon and his sons shall lay their hands on the head of the ram. And you shall slay the ram, and take some of his blood, and put it on the tip of the right ear of Aharon, and on the tip of the right ear of his sons, and on the thumb of their right hand and on the big toe of their right foot, and sprinkle the blood all around on the slaughter place. And you shall take some of the blood that is on the slaughter place, and some of the anointing oil, and sprinkle it on Aharon and on his garments, and on his sons, and on the garments of his sons with him. And he and his garments shall be set apart, and his sons and the garments of his sons with him. And you shall take the fat of the ram, in the fat tail, in the fat that covers the entrails, in the appendage on the liver, in the two kidneys, in the fat on them, in the right thigh, it is for a ram of ordination. And one loaf of bread, and one cake made with oil, one thin cake from the basket of unleavened bread that is before Yah. And you shall put all these in the hands of Aharon, and in the hands of his sons, and you shall wave them a wave offering before Yah, and you shall take them from their hands and burn them on the slaughter place as an ascendant offering, as a sweet fragrance before Yah. It is an offering made by fire to Yah. And you shall take the breast of the ram of Aharon's ordination and wave it, a wave offering before Yah, and it shall be your portion. And from the ram of ordination you shall set apart the breast of the wave offering which is waved, and the thigh of the contribution which is raised, of that which is for Aharon, and that which is for his sons. And it shall be from the children of Israel for Aharon and his sons by a law forever, for it is a contribution. It is a contribution from the children of Israel from the slaughters of their peace offerings, their contribution to Yah. And the set apart garments of Aharon are for his sons after him to be anointed in them and to be ordained in them. 
the priest from his sons in his place, puts them on for seven days, when he enters the tent of appointment to attend in the set-apart place, and take the ram of ordination and cook its flesh in the set-apart place. And Aharon and his sons shall eat the flesh of the ram and the bread that is in the basket by the door of the tent of appointment, and they shall eat those offerings which which the atonement was made to ordain them to set them apart. But let a stranger not eat them, because they are set apart. And if any of the flesh of the ordination offerings or of the bread be left over until morning, then you shall burn up what is left over. It is not eaten, because it is set apart. So you shall do to our Haron and his sons according to all that I have commanded you. Seven days you shall ordain them, and prepare a bull each day as a sin offering for atonement. And you shall cleanse the slaughter place when you make atonement for it, and you shall anoint it to set it apart. For seven days you shall make atonement for the slaughter place, and set it apart, and the slaughter place shall be most set apart. Whatever touches the slaughter place is to be set apart. And this is what you prepare on the slaughter place. Two lambs, a year old, daily, continually. Prepare one lamb in the morning, and the other lamb you prepare between the evenings. And one-tenth of a, a fath of flour mixed with one-fourth of hen of pressed oil, and one-fourth of a hen of wine as a drink offering with, with the one lamb. And prepare the other lamb between the evenings. And with it prepare the grain offering and drink offering, as in the morning, for a sweet fragrance, an offering made by fire to Yah. A continual ascending offering for your generations at the door of a tent of appointment before Yah, where I shall meet with you to speak with you. And there I shall meet with the children of Israel, and it shall be set apart by my esteem. And I shall set apart the tent of appointment in the slaughter place, and Aharon and his sons are set apart to serve as priests to me. And I shall dwell in the midst of the children of Israel, and shall be their father. And they shall know that I am Yah their father, who brought them up out of the land of Mitzrayim, to dwell in their midst. I am Yah their father.